So today I was going to make this one um, last week when I got this stem plant. And I actually, from weather conditions and all that, and you know the postal place, they kind of shook up the box. And then also it was like an ice storm here. So I ordered S Repens, uh, one tissue culture cup. And, and sadly it just kind of, it was just a big mess. I mean it was all tear apart. It was, you know, I don't know if it was exactly dead. But the plant was, like, unusable. I mean, you probably could, and it probably could eventually come back. But other than that, Glass Hocko, obviously, you know, best plant company, sent another one out, and it finally came, you know, basically the same time this other one did, just about a, right around a week later. And it came out very fast, as always. And if you want to go, I don't know if it says to me, but if you want to go to the website, um, you know, I could put it in the description, but if you want to know, it's glassaqua.com, or you just type in Glass Aqua on Google, it'll, they'll pop right up. But they sell all kinds of plants and accessories, so if you ever want to check them out, I did a whole review on them, so definitely buy some plants for them. They have, like, everything you could possibly need, so you're good on that. But look at these as repins. Like, I should have videoed what they looked like before, because, yeah, it was, I mean, you can just see what a storm can do to plants, even even when they're tissue cultured. But these ones, um, man, we need some better light. Let's see if we can kind of slightly put it under the light right here. So you can see nice and green nest ribbons. You know, they're a little bit darker than, you know, the ones that I have in the 40, which the lights are, you know, I don't even know why I don't have the lights on, but they should be turned on. Um, the ones right here, they're, if you go up close, the light really isn't on, but you can see how much lighter they are. And, that's probably just because this tank isn't even meant for plants and the light's so low. That's, you know, that's a great and beautiful carpet of S. Rebens right there. But, you know, it definitely could be 10 times better. I mean, it looks great as it is. You know, I love, like, how it's slightly light green, you know. But you can obviously see what actually a healthy thing S. Rebens looks like. And so, technically, when I look at that, that's really not at its best stage, but to me, the, the one in the 40 gallon looked great. And that's what really inspired me to put some in here. And today we're gonna show you how to kind of cut these up, which is very simple, you know, just like any tissue cultured. And we're gonna basically place a bush. Now the tank is still kind of eh, so the, the water um, water clarity might not look the greatest, but um, we're basically gonna put a bush of S-Repins around this corner and see see if we can wrap the whole corner. I think we should be able to, but we'll see what happens. So before I start cutting, I kind of want to go through like kind of tool wise. Now you do want a good pair of like you know kind of scissors like I do. These are curved. These are really nice stainless steel. Actually like meant for aquarium type um, tools. They got tweezers and you know two different type of tweezers, like um, an angled one and then you know a straight edge, but um. You know, you can use regular scissors, you know, that's perfectly fine. It's not like it's going to ruin anything, but um, you definitely want to don't have, you definitely want to, but you definitely want to have, you know, a clean pair of scissors just in case, you know, if there's something weird on it, you never know that anything can really happen, but, you know, tweezers, they're not a must have, but they are helpful and I would recommend them. You know, this whole set was about 30 bucks for these three, so about $10 each tool. And it came with a little bag, so, you know, I, I guess you can add that in the video. But, but you know, I'm going to kind of use these scissors. They're curved, and I'll kind of show you after what it looks like cut up. So, I, what I decided to do, these are just, you know, plants, leaves that fell off. But, basically, I decided to do it and to cut it basically to three big sections. And there's a little extra stem right here that we can plant. Um, so, when you're doing this... You know, there's also a middle, and what I like to do is kind of slightly, without breaking it, just kind of slightly pull apart, like kind of move the plant wider, you know, kind of spread it and kind of see where the best points to cut them at. Because you, you can slice it right on the middle, it's not going to hurt anything, but you definitely want to cut it so, you know, you're not hurting any leaves, you know, you kind of just want to clip it right where the stems are. And that's kind of what I did here. So you can obviously see there's still stems at the bottom and then the roots. The roots are important to definitely keep intact. That'll definitely help in, you know, establishing the um, plant and getting it rooted faster. But, you know, I got three big sections. Um, I probably could cut it in more, and it's probably smarter to do, but 
I think I think just putting three big ones, they'll eventually fill in pretty. I mean, with this aquarium, they should fill in pretty. I would say give it three months, and they'll probably be a good bush coming in. But you know, these are pretty big bushes, so you know, not worried about anything. But also, these are pretty well grown. Well, not well grown, but um, they're I meant to say pretty big because you see how big the leaves are. Mine took a long time to get that big, so these have definitely been growing for a long time. But other than that, I'll come back to you. Um, next, I'm going to use probably one of these tweezers, probably these ones right here. And I'll come back to you after, you know, I have it planted. <clears throat> so obviously, the tank's going to be kind of a muddy mess. You know, that's what happens every time you plant something. And, you know, every time with tissue culture, you know, I love tissue culture, but it's always just such a pain to, to um, plant. And so, got a little water. But... You kind of just have to, you know, it's better when you do tissue cultured. For me, it's just way easier to do it when, you know, you don't have water in the tank and you're doing kind of a dry start. When you when you already have water, it's, you know, it's kind of difficult, really difficult. And you end up going to, like, breaking a lot of your plants. And gonna, and it definitely gets to be mad every time I plant. Especially when it came to these um, Monte Carlo. Almost everything in this tank was a struggle, except for, you know, the stem plants. Those are super easy to, you know, thing. But obviously, they don't look, you know, amazing. You know, they just got in this tank. You know, once they start rooting and actually start growing, you already know it's going to look so good. This plant, uh, it, just, it just looks like it's dead. I mean, I don't know what happened. You know, I'm just going to leave it there because it looks like it's coming back. Because you see all the bright green. You know, yeah, I mean, it is, it's not as bright on camera, but there's definitely, you know, some new growth that's coming in. So I'm just going to leave it. It hasn't even rooted yet, really. You know, it has roots, but it has a, like, you can easily just pull it out. Like, it's not even barely rooted, so I don't know what's happening with this plant. But I'm just going to leave it there and see what happens, you know. I think it'd be kind of cool for the S-Rapids to take over this area. You know, if we can even add more one day, but who knows. That'd be cool. But, obviously, you know, this one is kind of a struggle. It doesn't look very good. It was act I actually should have put that in the back and put these ones, you know, more toward the front, the ones that look kind of better. But we just need to give it time to grow in. You know, that's that's something you got to learn when you do plant tanks. It's never going to look, you know, amazing at first unless you just have already fully grown plants. Um, but, you know, definitely from the top view. Yeah, from the top view, you know, it kind of looks, it, it looks bad from the side view. So we'll just, but you can obviously see what I kind of plan to do here with the, it actually end up working perfectly around this corner. But... You know, I kind of put some little stems right in there and there. Um, when you're when you're doing tissue culture, you know, it's definitely best to use tweezers, but sometimes your fingers are just, you know, better. You know, that's kind of what I had to do here. The tweezers work pretty good on the smaller stuff, but the bigger stuff I just kind of had to push in with my finger. But no problem there. Not a really big deal, but these s weapons, yeah, I, I mean, you know, after what you see, I have the lights on now, so you can kind of see, you know, if somebody's watching this, basically this is basically what it's going to look like down the road. You know, they're probably going to be a lot brighter in color, or at least darker, just a little bit, you know, better looking. But this is basically what it's going to look like in the future, you know, nicely grown in. This one's obviously just super big. These were actually only one stem. I had five stems probably five or six and five or six stems did this in about a year obviously this tank is so low light so it kind of took forever for that to grow so this i i mean i really don't you know it i expect it to grow you know start growing pretty fast you know start looking really good so we'll see you know i kind of need to fill in the gap so you can kind of see i kind of made a big trench with ada down here i kind of see how the plants kind of tilt i need to kind of push it up but these over here look great. You know, I kind of mutilated mutilated that one with the leaves, but it'll it'll come back and look just as good as these ones. But these ones will start growing in, and you know, we'll see what kind of happens. You know, I'll definitely give updates near future. But I think right now a top view is a lot better than the side. You can kind of just see what it's gonna look like exactly. Yeah, there there's a lot of different colors going on in this tank. It's Tank's a lot murky right now because that ADA got all kicked up, but you know, you know, I don't know if I'm exactly.
putting all the right plants together. But, you know, there's a lot of different colors going on. And, you know, it might, and all, all in the end, I think, you know, it, when this carpet fully grows in, I don't know, it might, this tank can look really good. It can look okay. So we'll just hope and see, you know, the back plants, I don't really know. Those might just be taken out just because I just want to do something different. It's not that, um, you know, I don't like them or something. It's just if with this scape, I don't think they're going very good. But, um, you know, let's just hope these, you know, the the Monte Carlo carpet, you can also see there's a bunch of eddy on top of it just because from when I first planted it. But um, you can also see how much, from the top, you can really see how much everything is grown. This is connected. Um, these two have connected. You know, the, a lot of these are more far apart. I kind of wish I did two pots at the beginning, but of course I didn't have really money at the same time, so rip. But, um, you know, I think one cup, you know, it definitely filled up this tank. But, um, you know, it would have been, it would have been a lot faster carp if I went with two in the beginning. But, you know, now we know for a future, you know, of tanks, how much we really need. But other than that, go shop at Glass Aqua, you know, check out their plants. It's already looking pretty good from back here, I'm not going to lie. And other than that, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next